G'day YouTube, welcome back. 1MJ here. Well, the weekend's over, Monday's here, and things seem to have stabilised a little bit. We definitely have some gainers. Uh, the MCO token's gone on a bit of a rampage. Uh, maybe it's going to show up here. Yep, there we go. MCO in the last 24 hours is up 30%. Ren's made a bit of a move. So there's definitely some things that uh, have, you know, done reasonably well. But let's just go back to Bitcoin. So currently at 11,158 and it's slowly but surely sort of creeping its way down as well. So uh, it looks like it's found some support here and there's a bit of a wedge uh, kind of occurring at the moment, but we'll have to see. Uh, still a possibility that we might drop lower. But anyway, again, what I'm keeping an eye on is this, 345 billion. So it's down, you know, 0.6%, but it's going down and up all at the same time, but more in an upwards trend. So that's what I'm keeping an eye out for. If the market cap really starts to significantly drop, then I'm gonna be worried. Uh, but if the price drops a little bit, but the market cap continues to sort of grow, then I'm not worried too much. That'll just mean people are getting out of Bitcoin and moving more money uh, into altcoins, because I've got no doubt there's gonna be another uh, altcoin pump. I don't think alt season's done just yet. But anyway, let's go over to here. I found this uh, a great lesson. Bitcoin's flash crash offers a lesson for new retail investors. Absolutely it does. You need to understand the market before you just simply chuck some money in. If you've come here just to make a quick buck, you're probably quickly going to get I'm not going to finish that sentence. I'm sure you can work out what I was about to say. If you put money into the cryptocurrency markets, understand that at any time, if you don't understand the market, it could dump 30% from what you just put in. But over the long haul, chances are it'll go back up if you've got into really, really good projects. So if anyone new who's watching that and you've put money in and you've seen yourself lose some money, don't panic and sell out just yet. This is personal advice, not financial advice. We're in an upwards trending market you just got to hold and you're likely going to make your money back and some, maybe a lot. Again, personal advice, not financial advice, but great lesson for new people. You know, anyone who's new to the kind of cryptocurrency space, if they put money in the other day, they would absolutely be freaking out right now. And if anyone new uh, to the cryptocurrency sphere is watching my channel, relax, breathe. Cryptocurrency does this, it might go down some more still. But if you're in some good projects, just hold, you're probably going to be fine. Not financial advice, though. All right, but something that will uh, help those who are a bit panicky at the moment, the US has printed more money in one month than it has in the last two centuries. So there's an upside to that. And the upside is, as long as they keep printing money and all the other nations, it's not just uh, the US that are doing it, <laughs> all the other countries are doing it to get through this pandemic. But as long as they keep printing that money, the money's gonna go into things like stocks. Stocks are going up, cryptocurrencies particularly, they're going up, they're the new uh, hot asset to own at the moment. And they will continue to be, as long as this uh, money keeps getting printed. Now, as soon as it gets uh, turned off, as the printer stops, there's going to be a big massive sell-off depending on where you got in will depend on whether you're still going to be up or down. I see a crash uh, coming in the not too distant future for cryptocurrencies, particularly when the printers uh, turn off and they stop. But in the long term, I, I see it going up. But that's a lot of money. In the last month alone, they printed more than they did in the last two centuries. And from all reports, they're going to print more. There's more stimulus packages coming. And again, it's not just the US, it's all the major uh, countries in the world that are having to do that. So yeah, interesting. Bitcoin holding strong at 11K, but the 100 SMA holds the key to start fresh rally. So it is holding around that $11,000 mark at the moment, but we'll have to wait and see. Uh, you know, it's just holding on to that $11,100 mark and there's definitely a chance that it could drop even further. So let's go over and have a look. So this is my trusty chart. So where are we? We're currently at about, yep, $11,181. And we're just sort of ranging in and around there. Now this is on the daily chart though. There's definitely a chance we might come back down and revisit this yellow line here. So around the $10,500 mark, 
possibly even the $9,800 mark. We could come back down there to these areas where we've sort of had some support before. So I think it's more down around about, yeah, roughly sort of here. So possible we come down to here, probable, yeah, maybe not, but we'll have to wait and see. Again, no one would have seen this crash coming, really. Uh, I did say, though, that, you know, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are quite often, when everyone gets too positive, they'll do something really negative. And when everyone gets too negative, they'll do something really positive. Uh, it's, a, yeah, it's an interesting market that you need to get used to. All right, so last but not least, US court dismisses claims against XRP. So there was uh, two plaintiffs uh, that made some uh, complaints against uh, Ripple saying that they believe they should have been listed as securities. They were early investors uh, who sold and at a loss and instead of simply holding, particularly when it went to about $4, I think it was $3.80 at its all time high or something US, they would have made ridiculous amounts of money. They didn't do that and so they were upset and they wanted it uh, uh, basically to have them charged that it was a security um, and that has been thrown out by the court. The court has decide, decided, I should say, that there's not enough evidence to prove that. Uh, and so that's big news for XRP because that's been hanging, uh, hanging sorry, over their head for quite some time uh, and now they can just move on for that. And I think uh, this happened uh, a couple of days ago. I think it was like last Friday, last Thursday or something like that it happened. And that might be uh, something to do with a bit of a price rise for XRP. So we can go over here and have a look. I mean, in the last seven days, it's pumped 40%. So that's not too bad. A little bit of a retracement here, but again, a lot of things have had a bit of a retracement uh, over the last few days, but it's basically now consolidating on this mark. So a bit of consolidation, and then hopefully for the next leg up. But if Bitcoin does decide to drop, uh, and it goes down to that $10,500 level, uh, there's a chance that it's going to drag everything, uh, not everything, because it won't drag everything down, but a good chance it'll drag a lot of things down. So some of these profits that we've made over seven days, and that was all these big pumps up here, we could see, uh, and then they were pulled back over here. So still a possibility that uh, things could come down a bit, but in the long run, we're still in an obvious uptrend at the moment, uh, and unless really... Bitcoin drops down below sort of $6,000, I would still be relatively bullish. Uh, it's really about, and we'll just quickly go back to the charts. As long as we continue to form higher highs, so we come over here, so even if this was to drop down to around about here, so there we go, around the $6,000 mark, even the $5,000 mark, but then we started to build back up from here, we're still setting higher lows, and that's what it's all about. The higher highs are great, but if they don't happen, as long as we don't set lower lows. So really, we'd need to come down below around about the $5,000 mark, the $4,800 mark, before I'd be really, really worried. Now, don't get me wrong, it'd hurt if we dropped down into here. It'd hurt a lot, uh, but as long as uh, we basically sort of bounced off somewhere in here and we, can fit, we continue to follow this upward trend line uh, here. But, I mean, again, at the moment, we're above this uh, trend line here. We break out of that. So, you know, chances are we're probably finally uh, in a real bull run. But, hey, this is cryptocurrency. Could change at any time. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, that's it from me. I hope you're all having a great day. Uh, there's been some losses, but there's been some gainers. MCO, I got a little bit of MCO and I got some REN. So it's not all bad. Stay safe. Be kind to one another. Hopefully you got some gains today. And I'll see you next time.